What's going on guys? Modern Day Muscle from Free Smoke. Make sure you go and check out freesmokeofficial.com where you can get your free smoke apparel. We're covering all bodies from small to 5X. Make sure you come and check it out. Again, that is freesmokeofficial.com. Go and get your apparel. What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm your boy, Fat Cat. We got the Ready Rails in the building. If you don't know, you're watching Free Smoke Home. The news for the culture. All right, before we get into it, as you guys see, man, freesmokeofficial.com. Go get your merchandise. Go get your, your shirts, your hoodies, your pants. You know what I'm saying? Anything you need. You know what I'm saying? Especially now for the winter time. It's in there, man. And uh, um, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we would like <laughs> if you know, so you find something that you like, hit that checkout button. And that you know, what I'm saying add that to the cart, hit that checkout button. But again, that's freesmokeofficial.com. Now, with that being said, let's go and get into it. The first thing we got for y'all today, man, our right, guy, Stun Squeezy, Stunner Reese, man, in the building, man. He looks like he got it all back together, man. They go beat up the Don and he drag it something back to the <laughs> fleet, man. What rails? What is that, bro? Man, that looks like Scrappy to me, brother. You know, that uh that that surprised me, man. Um, when I was watching the video, he like, you know, he go and pick up another G body. And I said, man, he got a, got a black one, and then I seen that strike down the side of it. I said, Oh man, I said, nah, that's that's scrappy right there, man. Um, so he ended up, you know. Pulling old scrap doll back home, man, and, and and getting scrappy back in the mix with everything and some, you know, minor things that he he, he wants to take care of on, you know, to get it back a hundred percent um to where, you know, to his uh liking. But man, that that surprised me. And actually, you know, it's been so long I kind of forgot about Scrappy. And and that's why like it didn't catch me when I first watched the video. And then once, like I said, once I seen that red stripe on it, I said, Oh man, that's scrappy right there, you know. So um I know that he, uh the guy has switched out the tail lights and stuff like that and he put uh I think some some Chevy decals on it that you know he wants to take off and and he's basically gonna make it, you know, scrappy, uh, you know, maybe 2.0, 2.5 or or whatever, man. But like, you know, it, I think I think that I wish he would have kept that car from jump, you know, because I thought he put a lot of work into uh, Scrappy and getting it right and stuff like that. And I know, you know, doing these, uh, you know, waffles are, are, you know, good and, you know, give other people opportunity to own cars like this, man. But I always thought that Scrappy need, should have been one of those to, to, to hang in there with with uh, with Drac, you know, um, because, you know, they're just like, you look at the different eras of cars, like you look at Drac, you know, then, you know, you go to the G body, you know, with Scrappy, man. Then you got, you know, Vino the Don in this, this, you know, new era, man. So I'm happy that Scrappy, if not intended to rhyme, but I'm happy that Scrappy is uh, back in the fleet with Stunner Reese. So I can't wait to see if he's gonna do a lot, a little, or you know, just just enough to get it back to where it was before he sold it. You know, so it should be definitely should be exciting. I'm sure he'll have a lot of content coming. Up. Definitely gonna be interesting to see, man. And, and like you said, does he does he turn this into his uh, if he you know kicks it for you know long long term now? Is this going to be his real drag car? You know what I'm saying? Because this car was already stuck. Remember, originally this car was already set up for you know saying for the for the for the drag trip. So yeah, uh, but uh, by the, right for Gudge Racer. So so does he actually go full fledged now and have something that he could go? You know what I'm saying? Because he's always at the events. He's always at, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He's always at, at, at the Gap Fest and the Scary Fest, you know, or, 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 you know, the call outs. Um, so does he, does he like, you know what? This is going to be my card that I'm going to actually set up and um, go out there and, you know, start, start, put, 
you know, give some people some work on the line. You know what I'm saying? So yes, we'll sir. See. We'll, see, we'll see if he goes that route with it. And by the way, not to mention, you know, uh, you know, he, 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 he's, uh, you know, he got the connects already, man, because he's out there with Jordan and, um, you know, those guys. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, was it Sideways Performance? Sideways. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Those guys. Uh, Productions. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. Jordan and uh, Obujo over there, man. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, them dudes, man, they, they put together some fast cars. Yes, sir. So, you know what I'm saying? So, Drac, I, 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 although although they did, you know, give Drac a heart transplant, but Drac ain't going to see no strip no time. No time. No. So, that, that that's his baby. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that car definitely ain't seen no strip. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe he'll do might do that to scrap it. You know what I'm saying? See what happens, you know. You know yeah. Put that car together, put it out there on the track. So we'll see. Yeah. All right, man. But other than that, yo, the next thing we got for y'all today. Um man, this actually happened a little while ago, man. We never actually talked about it, but it is worth mentioning. So we're gonna go ahead. Retro, retro active, you know, re- retro speak about this, I guess if you want to call it that. And uh man, you know, because this is an icon. And um, um, it's definitely worth mentioning, even here on Free Smoke. And we're talking about none other than Mr. Jay-Z, man. Jay-Z, as y'all know, uh, a couple weeks ago, actually, now, man, he got inducted into the Hall, Radio Hall of Fame, or the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I should yeah, say. Yeah, Rock and Roll. And, um, yeah, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I think he was the first, was he the first hip-hop artist? If, if I'm not so? mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so. I could be wrong, but they, I, I believe he is. I believe he was the first hip hop, hip hop, straight hip hop artist to be inducted into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, man. So at the end of the day, man, big time salute to Jay Z, man, Jigga Man himself, um, because he's come leaps and bounds from where he started off there in the Marcy Projects to now on stage uh, receiving, you know, say accolades to the, uh, like I said, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Rouse, what you got to say about that, brother? Bro, you gotta think coming from the the Hawaii Soapy Fame video uh, with with he and and Jazzo back in the day, man. That guy is now this guy, you know. At the end of right. the day, and and what that does, if people understand exactly um, the the road that Jay took um, to get to where he's at, he's put in the work. There was a while where Jay was putting out an album every year every year and i mean and and you know what it reminds me of bro because that wasn't something everybody was doing so like in this youtube world you got heavy hitters that drop content every day you know so Mm -hmm. it kind of put me in that mindset like he dropped he was dropping the album every single year like you said sometimes too um nobody had that 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 push and momentum like he had Jay could drop an album right now and it'll be platinum before you can dog on wake up the next day. You know, um, and what I think that he did and, um, you know, shout out to uh, J. Cole. J. Cole, I think, followed his blueprint is uh, the, the mysteriousness, the mystique of said person, said rapper, because Jay-Z is not out all the time. Um, you haven't seen people uh with video of he and beyonce's house all the time and you know you know he's not a random place so when you do see him come out it's for a purpose so when you when you hear a single that jay drops or whatever man the anticipation starts man because it's Mm -hmm. like a mystique you never have an idea when jay is coming out with an album because at this point now right he doesn't have to drop an album you know so when you get it and like i said that's what i i, I see that j cole kind of picked that up as well because cole you know he's not you know out everywhere um you, you rarely hear from him but when those guys do hit you with something it's worth whatever the weight was at the end of the day so that kid like you said from marcy projects um hawaii soapy j uh you know you talk about reasonable doubt talk about in my lifetime volume one and two blueprint uh blueprint two man he should have been there a while ago in my opinion but i'm glad he is there bro because he earned every bit of it well this kind of opened the doors a little bit too right so now yeah. they open the doors for other for other acts and artists and things like that uh uh to be able to you know do the same thing especially you know what I'm saying, when it hit that level um yes, so like for instance like I, I, I look for instance i wouldn't be surprised in maybe the next five or ten years 
Mm-hmm. Right. And I gave them five or ten years because, you know, they still kind of kind of, you know, they, they're, they're going to have to, you know, fill some things out. But, yeah. you know, I, I won't be surprised in five or ten years, man. They don't got Kanye up in there. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the rock mm. and roll. Uh, uh, hey. because no, that, that, that's Kanye's big done, fact. Uh, Kanye has done a lot, a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? And and he's he, he dead near created a whole new genre of music. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, anyway, the point being is, he opened the door for a lot of people, man. Um, you know, big icons in the hip hop world to, you know what I'm saying? Now, now that's another feat for them. Um, right. But like you said, I, I 100% agree. Um, you know, it, it's, 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 you can't even argue the fact that he's probably been, he's probably the most influential hip hop. We talked about this before. He's yeah. probably the most influential artist that this industry as far as hip hop has seen. Um, there's been a lot of influential people there's been a lot of people that have done a lot of great things, but he's probably been the most influential when it comes to from where he started to where he was at to mm. leaving leaving a situation, which for most people that'd be the end of it for them. You know, that'd so oh, be the end of their the, career. A lot of people wrote him off then, though. They thought he was gonna he was gonna fail too, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? Leaving a situation to then capitalizing and man, you know what I'm saying? Come back even stronger and harder and um. And, and just blew everything that he set for himself. All the goals, he blew it out the water, blew it out the map. You know what I'm saying? From from again, from Marcy projects to having the baddest chick in the game wearing his name to now he's a billion dollar entity. You know what I'm saying? He's not a businessman. He is a business, business. man. <laughs> yeah. I remember when he dropped that, I was like, oh that dude is that was like this dude is different. Man. This dude and is like- different. That can't say, you know, he, he said it himself for Marcy to Madison Square, bro. Like, if you're exactly. a, native, a native New Yorker and you have some type of talent, whether it be singing, rapping, comedian or whatever, and you make it. Now, I'm speaking to a that. brother that's, you know, from New York, you know. So when someone from New York, bro, make it to Madison Square, that's like the ultimate, ain't bro. It, bro? They dream about it, bro. Like, they sit, you know what I'm saying? You go to, like, you go to the arena or if you're in there for whatever, for a game or for another you know another uh uh, uh you know uh, event or whatever like you dream about that like man if I, you know what i'm saying like did, did like that a lot of people that are from new york man like that is their goal that mm-hmm. is their that is their like that's it that's the mm-hmm. highest bro if i make it into madison square man and still out madison square mm-hmm. man this is it for me that, like that, that's that's exactly what i want to do game over to go. So the, yeah so the fact that he did that multiple times you know what i'm saying and and, uh, and like it's just too easy. Like I said, he he go to sleep. He can drop an album today. Go to sleep, wake up, and that joint be platinum. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, immediately, immediately. So, yo, um, again, Jay Z, man, so much influence. Rubber elbows with so many people in the industry and outside the industry. So many people respect them. The only thing I kind of I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on with what he got going on. With, uh, uh, you know, with the hair. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like. But he, hey, he, Jay Z he, He's on his free form, man. He's on his free form oh, locks, man. I, the only thing I always think of is Jay Z. He don't do nothing just to do it. So there's definitely a purpose and there's a reason it behind is. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I was just like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the time now where we got to see that. Like, for me, I'd be like, man, it'd be dope to see that clean cut Jay Z, you know, that was had seen throughout <laughs> the years. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a big billionaire now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yo, I, I, but hey, there's a reason for it. At the end of the day, maybe he's looking like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I could be me. I could be free. I could represent yep. my heritage. And and you still going, you know what I'm saying? You still going to respect who I am, you know what I'm saying? No matter what. So it might yep. be, whatever it is, might be that. But like you said, though, he doesn't come out often. Um, you know what I'm saying? What he does is for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? He's not just out and about. He's not on social media like that. He, he was on social media about three weeks ago for about 20 minutes. And everybody went crazy. You know what I'm saying? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> but uh, but he's not on social media hey, like man, that. that. Hey, that dropped all of bro. That that messed up our report and all of that day, man. I'm oh like, God, man. yeah, man. Set himself for the okie doke, man. <laughs> but everybody, man. But hey, so yeah. hey, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, man, it, it, look, J, look, you know, you know, you something when you are bragging right to other people. Like when people say, when people just, when people say. Man, I got Jay Z. Man, I can hit up Jay Z right now. You, when you are a bragging right, hey. you know, what I'm saying for other for other, you know, millionaires and your 
things like yeah. that or whatever. Nah, bro, you 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 know you've done something in this world. You made an impact in this world. You know what I'm saying? That's a different because level. Because there's a lot, there's a lot of, yeah, as I'm saying, there's a lot of hip hop artists, a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying, big time, big name people, celebrities and whatnot. And they brag about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know, yeah, I got, I, I hit, or Jay-Z hit me up, or I hit, hit a Jay-Z, or I got Jay-Z's number, I can hit him any time. You know That's a bragging right to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, shout out to Jay-Z, man. Congratulations um, to him. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? For doing that, like I said. Uh, paving the way for a lot of people as he's done before multiple 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 times paving the way for a lot of artists you know what I'm saying now that's another goal man now there's something else that people can look forward to and strive to you know what I'm saying uh, again shout out to uh, Stunner Reese as well you know what I'm saying bringing Scrappy back in the fold can't wait to see what he's gonna do with that yo Rels what we got for announcements bro hey man coming up April 9th 2022 we got the next big showdown going down in Dallas Texas of course uh, don't master in demonology. They're going to slug it out in the ring again, a.k.a. the drag strip. So um, you definitely going to want to be there. Once we get the official flyer, we will be posting it here on Free Smoke first. So, um, And also coming up, we got the next Gap Fest. Dates are tentative right now. So uh, once I'm able to lock in those dates uh, with the powers that be, I'll make sure that I bring it to you guys. Uh, ASAP, but you got to stay locked in. And the only way to stay locked in is hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on the post notifications to all. That's when it's grayed in, not just the outline, you know. So you'll know when we drop any videos and you'll be able to catch the first information on all these events. There you go, man. Hey, and don't forget, don't forget, man. Um, also, if you want to uh, send us anything, gifts or whatnot, shirts, merchandise, whatever it is, send it to us down in the field box below, man. We'll open up here on the show for you guys and of course we'll shout you guys out you know what i'm saying don't forget to share all these videos as well man so we can get as many eyeballs as possible on these videos and i think next week this sunday coming up we have new york in your city will be in the building so make sure you guys stay tuned for that of course easiest way to make sure that you don't miss that Rose just said it hey. hit that notification bell turn on all post notifications so you don't miss that all right other than that that's all we got for y'all today yo bless up to everyone out there big time salute and shout out to the free smoke squad you don't know you are watching free smoke and we do this for the culture we out of here later